something that's really good to know. Smoothie powders can actually be used for more than just smoothies. Today, I'm gonna to make beautiful chocolate banana muffins using smoothie powder. Now, the BioGland Probiotic Smoothie Powder, I really like because it's got chia, oat, and plant-based protein. Now, why that is so important is the plant-based protein is very slow releasing, so it keeps you fuller for longer. It has a lower glycemic index, so it means that energy that we're all trying to keep more of is consistent throughout the day. So this recipe simply is about having half a cup of the chocolate powder in here. I've then got my almond meal. And what I already had in the bowl was some wholemeal flour. You could use spelt, buckwheat, it's really your choice. I've got some baking powder and a little bit of extra cacao. Who doesn't like more chocolate in their life? I've got to mash my two bananas. Bananas, they're the unsung hero. I mean, my daughter loves eating bananas. It's an easy fruit to get in her diet, but they're packed full of potassium. We need potassium because it actually works as a bit of a natural antidepressant. Add your eggs and your milk. Now it's just a matter of blending the two together. So this will take about 20 minutes in a 180 degree oven. The frosting is so easy. It's simply cream cheese, a little bit of milk of your choice, maple syrup, which I love using because it's got a lovely sort of caramelly flavor to it, but it's actually lower glycemic index than sugar and a little bit of vanilla essence. And simply beat it till smooth. Wait until your muffins have cooled and then top it with your cream cheese, maple syrup frosting, banana chips on top, and a little bit of extra chocolate. This really is the perfect protein snack that's not a smoothie.